Hello, I'm Andrew Smith, an aerospace engineer and former finalist on the Great British Bake Off, and I love applying my engineering skills to my baking, so I'm very excited to launch Life Science Centre's Engineer a Gingerbread House competition. Now, keep watching for my design and construction tips, and then for the chance to win £250 to spend in the gift shop or cafe of Life Science Centre in Newcastle, just share a photo of your gingerbread house creation on Instagram using hashtag engineer gingerbread house. And don't forget to tag science at life. Now, I thought it might be a bit helpful to have a few engineering tips that I think might come in handy. So, number one, firstly, make a template. We've provided one along with the recipe, but feel free to get creative and make your own. There are loads of examples online too that you can modify. And a template will mean that your design fits together well and doesn't have any big gaps that it's not meant to. If you make it with cardboard or foam, like my one I have here, which I just cut from uh, leftover packaging, food packaging, then you can check it all fits together before you start making your gingerbread house. And you can keep it for next year too. That's top tip number one. Top tip number two is to plan ahead for assembly. You aren't finished with your template once you've cut your raw dough out. No, 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 no. You'll want to use it again once your gingerbread comes out of the oven as it may have spread slightly. But you want to do this when it's a bit softer before it totally cools because then it can get a little bit brittle. It's worth paying extra special attention to any of your edges that will be glued together. Also, it's very helpful to have some cans ready as they're very useful for propping up your design when you're gluing it together so it doesn't topple over. My last tip is to think about what tasty edible adhesive you want to use to stick your house together. Royal icing is the traditional choice. It's easy to work with and you can correct any mistakes, but it does take a while to set. So you need to make sure you hold it in position for a few minutes. Using caramel is much, much stronger, but a bit more difficult to work with. And it is very, very hot. So definitely one only for adults. It does make a very strong join though. Maybe you'll do what I've done and use a mixture of the two, the royal icing for some bits and the caramel for others. So here is my effort. Caramel up high to attach the roof because it's most likely to slide. Royal icing down below to connect the bottom panels and lots of tasty engineering to keep it all held together. And when it comes to decoration, the sky really is the limit. I've crushed up some boiled sweets and added them to make little windows whilst the gingerbread was baking uh, and some extra royal icing to make some little snow effects as well. But you could use uh, flaked almonds for tiles, chocolate fingers for doors, candy canes out of chimney. You've got so many options. I'll be joining the team at Life Science Centre to judge the winner based on the most impressive edible engineering and also creativity. We want you to have fun whilst you're entering this. And entries will close at midday on the 14th of December. Now to get my suggested gingerbread recipe and this downloadable template to help with your build, visit life.org.uk forward slash gingerbread house. You'll also find full competition terms and conditions on the website. Now until then, happy baking and I look forward to seeing your incredible edible engineering and perhaps some totally unique designs. Best of luck!